Now the floor is given to Colonel Alexander Batuzianik, Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, spokesperson on ATO-related issues. Welcome. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. During the last 24 hours, in the result of heavy and long shelling delivered by Russian occupation forces with the use of weapons that are prohibited by the Minsk agreements, there are casualties among our servicemen. Now the information in more detail. The Lugansk sector, the enemy delivered 19 precision shellings in the direction of our positions. For about two hours, Russian occupation forces used mortars of 120 millimeter of caliber to our defenders of uh, Travneva, launching 16 mines. And also, there were repeated precision shellings of our positions with the use of uh, weaponry of IFVs, uh, uh, grenade launchers, and infantry weapons. Um, enemy mines of 82 mm of caliber disturbed our servicemen on the positions near Krimske, Lugansk, Katerinovka, and Blova Alexandrovka. And uh, uh, also um, in the, this settlement in Lovacheva, Zaitseva, and Zolote, there were repeated precision shellings delivered by the enemy with the use of uh, large caliber um, machine guns, grenade launchers, and small arms. The defenders of Ukraine in the majority of cases didn't respond at enemy provocations, but uh, several times they provided adequate response with weapons that are not prohibited by the Minsk agreements. In the Donetsk sector, during the last 24 hours, nine precision shellings uh, were recorded uh, that were delivered by Russian occupation forces and um, also near Avdiivka, uh, the occupants uh, for two hours launched 12 mines of 120 millimeter of caliber and also delivered disturbing fire with use of grenade launchers of different systems and small arms. Also, enemy used uh, mortars of 120 millimeter of caliber and 82 millimeter of caliber and uh, uh, the enemy used this weapon uh, near Opatna, Vodine, Shakhta, Butivka. And in the region of uh, Kamenka and Piski, the enemy used uh, weaponry of IVF, um, grenade launchers and small arms. Also, uh, near Kamenka, the enemy, uh, enemy sniper was active and uh, in the prevailing majority uh, the Ukrainian forces provided tough response with the use of grenade launchers and small arms. And of the whole during the last 24 hours in the region of ATO 28 precision shellings were recorded. The enemy launched at our positions 107 mines of 120 mm and 82 mm of caliber. Our servicemen 16 times returned fire using service weapon. And uh, unfortunately, we have to inform that in the result of uh, shelling delivered by Russian occupation forces, four Ukrainian servicemen uh, died. And this happened near Vodyane, Kamenka, and Travneva. Moreover, two servicemen were wounded and uh, uh, were traumatized in action, and uh, the wounded servicemen were promptly evacuated to medical institutions and uh, mobile military hospitals w where they are provided with all necessary assistance. Command of the Ministry of Defense General Staff uh, of the Armed Forces of Ukraine servicemen and battle comrades deeply grieve and express their condolences to families and relatives of uh, the servicemen who died for Ukraine. According to information provided by main intelligence department of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, measures of operative and battle training of the armed forces of Russian Federation uh, of, and uh, the forces of Russian occupation forces are carried out uh, uh, according to a single plan on a common operative background. And the evidence of this is that in the framework of the uh, week of battle readiness, they held training for uh, snipers uh, for the um, uh, snipers from uh, military districts of Russian armed forces and the uh, so-called first and second army corps of operative uh, units of Russian occupation forces. Senior officers from Russia who in the course of latest rotation arrived in the occupied territories of Donbass uh, do not trust and disrespect junior rank officers who were recruited from local population, population. and uh, uh, junior officers uh, often ignore the orders of the new senior officers uh, who uh, toughly force their subordinates to carry out glitzy ceremonial reviews and uh, to follow their senseless and humiliating 
orders to establish state, uh, state, uh, status order. And the latest rotation in the First and Second Army Corps significantly influence on decrease of moral and psychological state of the military personnel of Russian occupation forces in the territory of Donbass. Officers of the Group of Civil and Military Cooperation of the Armed Forces of Ukraine delivered to detachments at the front line material and technical means. And uh, the units that are in the operative command north were provided with the generators of uh, um, and uh, fortification equipment and technical um, ammunition. So um, the Chernigiv Oblast State Administration and uh, the unit of uh, volunteers of uh, uh, volunteers entrepreneurs from Nizhyn town. Staff of Naftogaz Ukraine, all Ukrainian Association Cadet Union and Joe uh, and um, Natalia Vinik also participated in provision of assistance to our servicemen at the front line. And our servicemen who uh, complete the, their battle tasks in the east of Ukraine are supported by Ukrainian diaspora from Canada who bought um, and handed over 10 sets of uh, communication equipment. By order of commander of Operative Command North, um, they provided uh, the orders, uh, the awards for the uh, best servicemen uh, to mark the day of armed forces of Ukraine. Officers of group of civil and military cooperation, uh, Marienka, supported by field post office, handed over um, the books to a library of school number four in Krasnogorevka. Um, all uh, were collected by the users of Central uh, City Library and Kremenchuk and representatives of um, Field Post Office. And also they provided a manual for teachers that is called uh, Civil Responsibility. Uh, this uh, will be used in the uh, preparation for lessons. And this manual was provided by Vergland European Center. Thank you for your attention.